what's up my name is Technobo here for troubleshoot and welcome back to another video in today's video i'll be taking you through a whole bunch of fixes for call of duty black ops cold war season 2 to help fix your game if it's not launching at all while there are a ton of fixes in this video i recommend you try the game at least once in between each of the fixes to see if your issue is solved as some one two or maybe even all of them will work or won't work it's really just throwing spaghetti against the wall and hoping something sticks usually your fix will be somewhere within this video and your game will be working by the end of it otherwise if you find another fix make sure to leave it in the comments down below as well as exactly what was wrong with it if you have more details anyways let's get on to it before we even start with trying different things the first thing you should make sure of is that your nvidia or amd graphics card driver is up to date and of course windows as well you can update windows by hitting start typing an update and clicking on Windows Update Settings. As for updating AMD or NVIDIA drivers, you can use GeForce Experience or the AMD equivalent, or you could go ahead and download it from their website. After updating your drivers, make sure to restart your computer and see if the game is working as expected. Otherwise, if it's not, there's some other fixes that we can do. Now, because you've freshly rebooted your computer, few programs should be running. However, of course, something that is currently running could be causing an issue, anywhere from an antivirus to something as strange as, say, Discord. You can check what programs are running with Control shift and Escape on your keyboard to bring up the Task Manager. Inside of here, you should simply run through these programs and close everything that isn't necessary for your computer to be running, such as, say, OBS for recording, Notepad, a web browser, a photo editor, video editor, etc., etc. And the more programs that you close, the more likely that something is not going to be directly interfering with Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. If your game is suddenly fixed, then it's obviously one of the programs you closed. Simply open them one by one and try each time to see if your game breaks until you eventually find the culprit. Let's say that that didn't work though and your PC is running basically nothing but the game itself. What else can we try? Well, something that you should try is turning off overlays such as the Discord overlay or the River Tuner or MSI Afterburner overlay if you're getting stats, etc, etc. I have River Tuner running right now, so I'll simply right click and click close. Same goes for MSI Afterburner. And inside of Discord, you can head into use the settings in the bottom left and then head across to the overlay section here and turn it off with the switch here. Of course, that's the only real overlays that I use, but if you use more overlays, try and temporarily disable those ones as well and see if your game works. However, let's say that it doesn't. What else can we try? Well, open up the Blizzard Launcher or Battle.net and locate Black Ops Cold War by clicking the icon at the very top or going to All Games, All Games, and locating it here. After doing that, next to the Play button, click the Settings wheel, and then click Show in Explorer to open the game's install directory. As you can see over here, I have the game's folder. On H Drive Games, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, though yours is probably located elsewhere. Opening it up, here are all of the game files. Let's go ahead and select Black Ops Cold War.exe, right-click it, and then click Properties. Inside of here, we'll be heading across to the Compatibility tab at the very top, and then clicking Run This Program as Administrator, clicking Apply, OK, and trying to launch the game through the Blizzard Launcher once again. Sometimes this will fix your issue. However, if you use a program with hotkeys, such as Discord Push to Mute, they will no longer work unless those are also running as admin. Assuming that your game doesn't work still, once again, right-click Properties on Black Ops Cold War.exe, Head back to the compatibility tab and this time try run this program in compatibility mode for and select Windows 7. Then also select disable full screen optimizations, click apply, OK once again, and then head back to your Blizzard launcher and try to play the game once again. Hopefully by now it should be working. Otherwise, if it's not, you can choose to leave these options on and continue debugging or you can turn them off if you'd like. I personally usually don't have any of these on, so I'll deselect them, hit apply, and OK. So, what's next? Well, let's assume that your graphics settings are kind of funky. What can we do to reset them? Simply head across to your Documents folder, usually in C, Users, your username, Documents, and then locate the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War folder. Open it up, and then open up the Player folder inside of it. You'll usually have only one or two folders in here. Inside of here, you'll see config.ini, of which you can open up and manually navigate through your settings. However, if you'd like to reset your settings completely, all that we have to do is move the folders that are in here into another folder or simply rename them all. I'll make a new folder called, say, Backup, and I'll put all of the existing files into the Backup folder. 
The next time that I launch up Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, these files will be regenerated and our graphics settings and everything else will be reset back to the default. Assuming that the game's now launching, try changing your graphics settings back and optimizing it as you'd like, set your key bindings, etc, etc, and relaunch the game. If the game no longer functions, then it's obviously something we've selected. You can try deleting them or moving them into a different folder and debugging further. When you're launching up the game a second time, if it still breaks, you can click the launch in safe mode button to try and open up the game in safe mode to see if we can get to settings then if something's gone really wrong. Usually that will be enough of a fix to get things working. But let's say that you're somehow still having issues with the game. What else can we try? Well, next up, let's go ahead and make sure that our Activision and Blizzard accounts are linked. Usually you'll do this the first time that you launch the game, but if you've done this, it's probably a good idea to check anyway. In the description down below, you'll find a link to s.activision.com slash login. Simply head across there, put in your login details for your Activision account, and click sign in. I have a two-factor code, so I'll enter that here. After successfully logging in, you may still see the login button. Simply just wait a while and it should eventually change to profile, otherwise try refreshing the page a bunch. It can take some time to show up. Eventually when it does, we'll see the screen over here. Simply make sure that you have the Battle.net account linked over here to your account, otherwise if it says link with Battle.net account, simply click it, punch in your details and make sure it looks like this where it's linked. Your settings down here are purely your preference, so you can set them to whatever you want. After doing this, try launching your game again to see if it works. Hopefully it does. And finally, if you're still experiencing issues, the last thing that we can try before fully reinstalling the game, or even worse, Windows, or of course Googling and spending thousands of hours trying to fix the game, is to simply verify the files that we have. Sometimes a simple hard disk error, a bit flip, or anything like that could cause a file to become corrupt. The simplest way to verify that all of our files are correct is, once again, head across to the Black Ops Cold War section on our Blizzard launcher, and then next to the play button, click the settings wheel, and then simply click scan and repair. After doing this, your PC will run through all of the existing game files on your computer and verify that everything matches the server exactly. If something is found to be off, i.e. corrupt, out of date, or even missing, it'll be re-downloaded or patched to be the correct working version of the game files. Of course, if your game is still not running for some reason, make sure that all of the hardware in your PC case, especially the RAM, is properly seated, and beyond that, I can only recommend further googling into more specific issues that you could be experiencing, as they may be linked to this, or you may be getting a specific error code on your screen that'll help you debug exactly what's going wrong. But besides that, hopefully this mega compilation of simple fixes that you can try has helped you get somewhere with Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Thank you for watching, my name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!